Hey guys! <laughs> How y'all doing this evening? Welcome to the room three. We've had a lot of fun with this last night, and this is the continuation of that. Escape room puzzles. Very neat. Very uh, easily consumable puzzles. Easy enough to follow along, but also pretty tricky at the same time. Alive again with the second stream of the day. I would have kept it going from the earlier stream, but I had to work on tonight's video. And tonight's video is actually also of this game. So if you want an introduction to the game, video is going live in like nine minutes. It'll show the first chapter and beginning of it. But really, you don't need to know all that to understand where we are right now. So where I left off, we were in the next little water wheel, basically, setting up some stuff with that. We had this giant, not giant, but big pyramid kind of structure going on with a bunch of keys etched into uh, the side. There's three sets of keys here, here, and down here. Now we can actually forge keys ourselves using the coals and such over here. We um, put in some gold bars and then we melt down a key to form a new key to be able to set up new stuff. And then eventually at the end of the day, I think our overall goal is to basically light up all these light bulbs so we have to find objects that go in here so we can move this thing along the track and light everything up but uh we're gonna take it a little bit at a time so where i left off i had just gotten this block this block has got a little thing on the side it's got a, basically a crosshair and i realize now that the crosshair is actually the crosshair that is on the bottom of the key. So what we have unlocked is another tool in which we can use to forge our keys. So, what we do is set this up over here. I assume we just, nice, put it in. And then what I want to do is I want to create a key shape that matches this what's on the side of the pyramid. So let's start with the top one. Actually, I might have it set up. Yeah, I have it set up already. So we're going to make that key and see what happens. Yeah, I'm awake and everything now. I mean, I don't think I'll be awake for too long. But, I mean, as long as I'm not loopy, I'm willing to continue this game. So the key is set up. And the, our gold that we put in has is put into the container. And we're going to forge a new key with somehow actually gaining material instead of losing it. Incredible. Who knows what it's going to do once the new key comes out. But we got it. Let's see if it just makes its way into the thing. I also, hold on. This thing up here. Like, that doesn't happen to go on top, does it? No, that would be silly. I haven't, like, figured out what this does yet, but it's a connector of some sorts. Um, I'll have to mess with that eventually. But for now, let's, um... I don't know, I mean, we got a circle here. Maybe it'll just magically work. No, it doesn't magically work. All we've done is create the key. Um, because we have the key, it doesn't mean anything yet. Um, we are gonna have... I, I am gonna have to refigure out what else there is in this room. Because last time I was playing this, I did a lot of things without really taking mental notes of them. So I have this item, but I don't remember how I got this item. Or even having any ideas what this item can do. Connector makes me think it would go here, but it doesn't. Um, because it's not, it doesn't have the circle or the diamond. Um, yes, this game looks like a game. It's a great game, actually. It's a very good time. So I'm just looking around for either something to connect with this, or just something else I can unlock. So, it's not in need of a connection or anything. At least, yeah, nothing on this box looks like it really wants or desires to be connected. We have multiple places we can walk in between, so let's do some of that. I may take the hint, because I, like I said, it's, as of yesterday, I definitely missed out on some stuff. I also want to be able to mess with this at some point. Do you guys actually see something? Damn, I didn't see anything, that's sad. Um... I might just take the hint. Maybe that'll probably push me in the right direction. There is a large dial on the side of the iron box. You mean the thing I was just touching? The one that said these pegs are here for a reason? That dial? I couldn't imagine any other th else. 
Would you really consider this a dial, though? Like, if I had to describe this in a word, I would not use the word dial? Mm, maybe from the top it's a dial. So what I need to do, maybe I can, like, connect these together. And now, turn it. What? There we are. Dial! Doubtful. Let's chug some water. Can I interact with any of these? What the hell even is this? It looks like I'm supposed to move these about. So I could like line it up and do something with that. But I don't know if it's supposed to be a pr perspective thing or if there's like something I can move. I haven't even seen what I could do with this disc. Probably best that I actually examine it. Now as a cog. Um... Now, unfortunately, I'm moving these around. Uh, not really achieving much right now. But hopefully, that'll change. So, let me set this up so that... These are at least, like... Oh, they will just move through like that. Perfect. Yeah, I've done puzzles like that before. It's not too bad. Unlocking a metal casing. Did I use to play balloons in my tripping? L I literally played balloons like two hours ago. What do you want? Uh, I should look at this casing. Oh, it's uh, it's a circle thing. You know, that goes where, where the light bulbs are. It said casting. Nevertheless, it goes here. What? Right. Oh, hey, look. Uh, gear. That's right. There's gears down here. And now that this is a gear, I wonder if it'll just let me shove it in. Maybe... Well, I guess it's not here. And these don't move. So it would have to be... Can't move them by hand. This is this down there. Uh, it seems like we can't really do it just yet. Alright, anyways. Um... We have the key. We still haven't actually been able to put the key in. I was kind of expecting at some point we'd have something goes in here. It's definitely not the object that's larger than it. But sometimes this game does that. Where it just randomly changes the size of things on you. So I am a little shocked that this just doesn't go in. Hey, have you tried Oops, the stop room doing that. VR. No, I haven't. Stuff now in VR. I don't have a VR headset, so unfortunately I can't do much with that. Uh, there's gears over here, which I maybe would like to look at. Can't go into the floor. Can I zoom in at any of these exposed gears at all? No, not really. Unfortunately not. I will eventually get a VR uh, set, though. Don't you worry. It might just have to be whenever I move to a new place. I think that's the idea. Alright, um, let me... I'm kind of tempted to take the hint, because, again, there's probably more things that I either forgot about since playing, or just never noticed in the first place. Water wheel is powering the saw. That's right, there was... Wait. This? The water wheel is powering the saw? And then it's also powering this? What did that say? Well, it's powering, um, this thing here. No, we've just diverted it. And then, because we've diverted it, it powers stuff. So, uh, something turned on when we moved that, but I don't remember, because it was a while ago. Like this thing? The water wheel powered this? Is that, is that what happened? I'm going to need a refresher because, I mean, if I was playing this, like, all back-to-back, -back, probably would remember this, but I don't remember how it all went 
last time. I might assume it did. Uh, for the sake of things. Like the water wheel is powering this table. And it's a cool table. But uh, I can't really do anything with it. Also open this door. Right, but we did use that door already. I mean, there's been a lot of stuff that we have used before. But this. So, like, here's where everything comes from. And then this rotates and moves over here and then goes over here. So maybe it's this thing. Ah, there it is. I don't know what the hell is actually trying to do, but it's uncovered something here. What is that? Is a freaking walking machine. My belt. That'll be probably handy at some point. Do I dare just connect any of these with the belt? Like, this isn't moving yet, but I want to use this belt to kind of... There we go. Unlock another chest piece. Oh, and I know where that goes. You don't have to remind me of this one. You changed colors! How dare you? It seems like that's actually all this thing was for. What an excessive table just to hold one chess piece. Hey, guys. Uh, new video out uh, of this game. If you missed the previous streams of this game, I would recommend you check out tonight's video. Or just check it out regardless. It is up as of two minutes ago. Definitely go watch it at youtube.com slash aliensrock. It's a good time. Well edited. Nicely cut. Fun commentary. And it's pretty long, too. So maybe if you want to save it for later, I totally understand. But I'll also understand if you choose to just head out now and uh, come back in half an hour. Either way, go enjoy the video. So, uh, I know where the rook goes. The rook goes right here. So let's put the rook in. And it's eyeglass time, it looks like. Alright, a house with a water wheel. Alright, let's turn the wheel, I guess. Or no, I guess we're gonna fix the wheel. Now what? Maybe move the wheel? Um, does this move? Yeah, the roof of the house is moving. The button on the house makes a chimney and opens the roof. This, this is all natural. <laughs> to bring out another roof. Uh, which has sliders. Alright, now the big pyramid is starting to do things. I mean, it was doing things before, but now it's getting good. What are these supposed to be? Mirrors? Are we gonna fire a laser somewhere? I don't imagine any of these move, do they? I mean, it put me... Okay, it's a button. So what's the deal? Oh, geez, so we're supposed to rotate it. I'm not sure what we exactly want to create. Like, I'm not sure what my ending goal is. Yeah, I'm just rotating meaningly, meaninglessly now. All right, now it looks like we want to make the shadows of the shapes make it to over there. So that shouldn't be too bad. Have the sh uh, shapes just make it into their goals. I think this is right. Yeah. Another button. By God, we've done it. We passed the test. Or I guess we just rotated these properly. And we've uncovered a new keyhole. The second story keyhole, which is actually not the key we made, but we can make this key real easily. So it's a U, a trident, and then the T thing. All right, so let's, let's create that over here. You, trident, and the tea thing. Put in the key. All right. This is my least favorite game I've ever played. Oh, God. 
I'm I may have missed this step because I wanted to read that message. <laughs> um, yeah, my least favorite game I've ever played. Oh god, uh, it might it might be the fish fillets too. <laughs> it might be that. It was probably one of the worst game experiences I think I've ever had. Just terrible dialogue. The puzzles felt clunky to do. I just could not get into it whatsoever. Although the thing is, it wasn't boring. It's like one of those where it was kind of so bad it was good, at least in my opinion. So like it still had entertainment merit for a bit. And it's totally understandable if you're like into that game, but I did not have a good time when I tried to play it. <laughs> Uh, all right, key in the hole. Let's go. I feel bad because it was a viewer suggested game, but I feel like also my mood probably impacted it too. So I, you know, the game itself probably wasn't even that bad. It just happened to not clash with how I was feeling at the time. Listen, I'm trying to be nice. All right. Anyways, we got inside here some rotatable things we want to rotate the box i don't know what my goal is can i like shift around anywhere or am i just rotating this box maybe take this stuff yeah what is my goal all i know is that i can rotate this like i see the purple gem here and i see the blue gem over there so i thought well why don't i match up the purple gem and the blue gem but that makes no sense because these are on opposite sides okay wait i can move never mind I was not able to do this before. Alright, so now I can actually set that up properly. Let me just find the teal. There we go. Send that in. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. And we're going to unlock whatever's on the inside here. Pyramid has so much in it, you have no idea. <laughs> uh, now the yellow on the backside is all we need. And would you look at that? A gem. Um, maybe for this hole, huh? And another keyhole, the third and final keyhole. All right, let's do this. Let's go. As a cuber, I appreciate your orientation abilities. I used to do a little bit of Rubik's Cube back in the day. I do want to make it a... Um, actually, no, I was going to say, I think, think it'd be really fun to try to solve a Rubik's Cube without a guide at one time in my, my life. But I realized I actually did do that once. I did a 3x3x5 three by three by Rubik's Cube. My friend had it. And I asked him how to do it, and he said, lol, nope. So I'm like, alright, I just sat down and started messing with stuff, and was eventually able to find an idea and solve it. 3x3x5 three by three by is actually really cool, because it makes, like, non-cube shapes. You know, non-cuboid shapes, like, frequently. And you have to use that to be able to kind of fix weird parities and move stuff around. It's a good time. I don't know if I still remember how to do it. I think I'd have to relearn. Did that with the 2x2x2x2? Two by two by two by two? You, do you mean a 2x2 two two or a four-dimensional cube? <laughs> oh, actually, a 4D cube. Well, that sounds exciting. I didn't even know such a... You could manipulate a Tesseract. Like that. Like an actual real life holdable. Te There's no way, right? Well, either way, we've unlocked the pyramid. We'll hear more about Rubik's Cube shortly. Oh! Uh, this means we put on the eyepiece and we go inside the pyramid. That's right, we're in. <laughs> oh boy. What is the deal with this? I do not... I, I imagine maybe I want to line up... What? What? I guess I want to line up the um, gems. So this controls which row moves, I think. 
So this moves all three of them. Very interesting. And this moves just the base one. And then if I do go to here, then what does it move? Just the outer two. So let's go back to here. And let's line up these two. And then... Wow, okay. No, I see how this is supposed to go. That is weird. So there we go. And then move this a ton. I want to line up the third and the fourth. Because the last one moves only those two. Or, you know, the outer two. You know what I mean. Oh, but it doesn't move them at equal ratios. I should have paid attention to that. Well, that's fine. We got everything but the fourth one. Uh, this is quite forgiving. Yeah, I should have paid attention to how much they'd move. If you completely contain that Tesseract in your hand, it could still fall out of your hand since it could fall into the fourth dimension. Alright. Lots of sides to this new cube now. I don't suppose any of these can be manipulated, can they? I would think they could, but I'm clicking and nothing's happening. Nothing... Ah! Yes. The metal casing, the third and final one. Let's go. Bringing in the third gear. Oh, and this is going to open the door behind me, isn't it? I was wondering when we'd get to see what's behind here. Oh, God. All right, it's well lit. Warm, welcoming. Not completely ominous. I can't wait to see what's in this room. Looks like just the one object. Let me look around before I just hop into that. It's pretty bare bones. I doubt this shelf cabinet thing does anything. I doubt there's anything by the window. So let's check this out. Can you not open the door by turning the gears by yourself? Well, it said you couldn't. You are able to try, but you're not strong enough. Because, I mean, uh, you know, it, you need a lot of strength and grip strength to do that. And I don't think humans can do that. Anyways, the handle broke. So now we have a piece of wood. I was just clicking. I didn't expect that to work. Uh, well, it's simple. We put the wood into the handle spot. Can't attach it. The socket is too small. What about this? No, that's the broken one. Attached the machine, but broke off. What about this, then? A broken... Oh, it's the other part of the wood. Unuseful, it tells me. So what, do I have to forge the wood? I mean, I can only... Oh, I know where it needs to go. Come to think of it. There is one place where you can cut some wood. Come to think of it. I've been wondering when we'd finally be able to use this table piece. But I believe the time has come. Let's go. Nice. Two pieces of wood. Nope, the broken piece of wood. Alright, but we did it. Um, we got a half piece of wood. Should be nice. Yeah, we made it smaller. Handle sized, apparently. Wait, the socket is too small. Why did I expect this to work? Does it not just go in here? Really? No, maybe I zoom in. I actually don't even know what this machine is supposed to be. So really, like, when it comes to manipulating a piece of wood, I don't know what this is supposed to do. Yeah, maybe we're like, <laughs> I'm supposed to put it in sideways? Maybe I'm supposed to cut it more? Like, I don't know what the hell I'm looking at here. <laughs> oh, God. You know what? Let's just make it smaller. If it'll let me anyways. Uh, nope, this won't move. 
it seems like the, the wood's purpose is done here. So what about this thing? Maybe here? I can somehow... <gasps> Wait a second. Wasn't there like an arm from the other day? I wonder what this machine is for. I mean, I guess there's also this. Okay, well, this works too, but there was also an arm I just remembered. Okay, I'm glad the, the spooky ghosts know how to carve this handle, because if it was up to me, I would be clueless. People are asking me, oh, it's a lathe, a piece of wood. A lathe? A lathe? Never seen one before in my life, but it seems pretty cool. Well, we've definitely got the right size on this. So let's start moving this, why don't we? Hey, speak of the arm! Was this blueprints? Mechanical anatomy? It tells me how I should be adjusting the arm. Oh boy. So it's on the second notch. I don't know what's going on in... Oh, we're supposed to do this. Never taken shop class? <laughs> nope, not once. I've been a programmer. I did do robotics, but never did shop stuff. Um, I'm trying to remember if there was ever a code of three things. I need that, otherwise I can't get it. Maybe it's on the actual arm? Or maybe it's around? My guess is that it'd be on the actual arm. If there was a code of three... Oh god, it's been so long. So I can't... <laughs> I don't remember. Um, let's try over here, huh? Yes! There was! The triangle, the square, the angle! I gotta watch some wood turning videos. Uh, DM me one. I'm curious. Honestly, I am probably... I'm not completely helpless when it comes to handiwork, but I'm pretty useless. Oh god, this is harder to look at now. <laughs> Do I have to find the right angle so it doesn't... Oh, jeez. Like, I can assemble very basic stuff. Alright, we got a camshaft. In a stream? No. I like watching Minecraft, but I don't like uh, playing Minecraft. Partially because I'm bad at it, but also because, like, if you want to get good at it, you gotta invest a lot of time into either building something really cool or setting up some crazy plugin or just investing a lot of time. In general, time I don't have, so I'd rather just watch other people do it, basically. So this was supposed to go here. <gasps> and then we rotate this until it opens! A strange key. This rotates, huh? Can I, like, rotate the whole thing so I can maybe see the front of it better? It's hollow? I I have to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna have to go searching again because it's been a bit. Since I've seen that key. Like, I was thinking maybe it's on the box. It's not there because I used this hole already. Oh, it's probably this thing, isn't it? Yeah, that would make sense. So let's make the... Yep. Wait, yeah? I think that's right. Maybe one day I'd stream hardcore Minecraft. And that'd be kind of fun. Because I've never beaten hardcore Minecraft before. But it's not in my priority. Or it's not a priority for me. Anyways, the key has been used. Actually, I am very shocked at how absolutely nothing happened. Did I just miss something to click? But this is like far, far future. Like five years down the line sort of deal. For Minecraft. Alright, what is the... What? Did something happen that I missed? I, I hope not. Maybe something just subtle? Like, these were already folded down, so that's pretty normal. 
Uh oh. Um. Well, that's kind of not good because <laughs> I don't know what else there is to do. Uh oh. Because I used this already. There wasn't anything else of use or interest on here, was there? I might take the hint just because I, I wasn't aware there was more to this room. Maybe there was something in here I missed? I mean, we printed that out and we've used it already. I might just take the hint. Okay. I mean, I guess they gave us the key back so we could use it again. That makes sense. What? May wait, 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 wait. They're not implying I'm supposed to use the same key in exactly the same hole. Back to back, right? No, of course not. That would be silly. My issue, then, is that I have yet to find another hole like this one. Just making sure that... Yeah, no. It's, uh, you can't really change it by twisting that. If there was another keyhole similar to it, I'm gonna be honest, either I saw it and forgot about it, or I never saw it. Probably saw it and forgot about it. I've seen a lot. You rotated a disc on top of the iron bo box? i gonna be honest, I didn't notice that happening. Maybe I can use the key to rotate this? You mean, you mean this? There was a disc that rotated. Man, I need to start paying attention. Let me read this again. Rotate a disc on top of the iron box. Could this key rotate the... Wait, other disc? Now I'm really confused. What do you mean by other disc? By disc, does it mean this or does it mean what's on top? I'm just going to take this. Rotating ring in the stem. I don't know what it means by discs. I am actually so confused. It's so like this thing. Like, I can't interact with this. You know what I mean? I don't think I can interact with anything on this pyramid. There's three discs on the cube. Use a word that isn't disc to describe what it is. I think that's what's going on right now. Use a word, like, to replace disc that might be more accurate. Golden circle. So you mean this thing right here. There are similar ones to this. Look at the key again. I mean, I see how that goes in, but I just used it and it won't let me put it back in. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't let me put it back in. I'm just too focused on the previous step. Look at the handle of the key. You mean the square. I see now. I did not realize it was a multi-tool. I was looking at the I was looking at the front of the key. Never even once in the back of the eye. I was like, where the fuck is this thing? Yeah, Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, this actually still didn't do anything. Oh, but now we have this. So it's it's all four purpose or th three purpose.
What a weird key. Oh, that's the last thing I had to do, too. Oh, that's that's a shame. Damn, I didn't like that key. One bit. Um, sucks it was the last thing, but it's fine. Chapter is complete. The rest went well. Without a doubt. Uh, we completed a chapter, got another null element. Alright, uh, we're in a new-ish area, I, I think? No, no, this is where I came in. This, ah, I barely remember yesterday. So, I remember I have to go all the way back and put this on here. I'm just trying to think if uh, there was anything else I needed to do out here. Now, let's head back to the main table. We have spawned back in here. We have acquired the fourth null element. Hey, it's that symbol. A leather-bound book. What's in the book? Okay, nothing. It's actually cardboard. Okay. Is anything else open? Is there a bookshelf or something that I can interact with? That would make sense, right? You put the book in the bookshelf. You know, the bookshelf actually could be anywhere, too. Oh, no. I'm going to have to do some searching. I'm going to do a lot of searching. This actually might take a while. Because there is a lot of maneuvering. And it has been a hot minute since I've navigated this area. I, I want to find out what I'm supposed to do with this metal cube. And I'm also looking for a bookshelf. At least in my eyes, a bookshelf would make sense. I don't think I've interacted with this yet. A small steam engine, but it's not powered up. Stop that. Oh, so the cube actually looks like this. There we go. We found the thing for the cube. And that's what searching does for us. What's the deal with this? Another cube. Can I... No, I guess I'm just working with this. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, that's annoying. How do I put it back in? That is not at all what I wanted to do. Okay, I'm actually kind of annoyed. All right, let's, I guess I'm just going to redo the process. Yeah, it's the same cube. I know that. I, I just wanted to do this puzzle. Huh. So it shape shifts it, basically? Did I want a shape? I don't know. Maybe a sphere. Oh, my God. I'll have to look for somewhere that involves a shape. I guess now I got a metal sphere. Um. Oh, wait. Where I got the cube, it also had a sphere in then, didn't it? I remember that. Wow, how the hell did I remember that? Like, I retrieved the uh, cube from... I don't even know what to call it. I guess it was just this weird flippable drawer. And on the other thing, there was a sphere. I don't remember which actual entrance it is, but once I'm in there, I'll recognize it. So I know it's not this one. Books here, though. You know what? I'm going to do the spear th sphere thing first, and then I'll come back to do the book. All right, so that means it's probably this one. Wait, but there's a lot of books in here as well. There's a whole ass library. All right, but this is the area for sure. We go upstairs on this one. Man, like, what the hell is this table? All right, it's time to close it. 
Oh, it's <laughs> it's the theater part. Where's the spooky dude? Is he gonna creep up behind uh, us? All right, music time or not? What? A blank wax cylinder. Whoops, I wanted to examine this further. Yeah, the marionette. Wait, is that all this has to offer? Hold on. Let me double check. Hmm. I, I guess so, unless this is a thing. I'm just gonna click everything. I, I mean, I guess. I'm sure that'll help. I guess I'm... Maybe I could hypothetically put something back in there. Sort of deal. Like, I could put the wax cylinder back in. Or just anything on here. I could put the book on here. Actually, lets me put that back on. Um, I guess one thing I could do is change the shape of this. Kind of like... At least, I would imagine. If, if I could put this in where I put the cube in, I could maybe change the shape. Can I mess with this at all? Like, move this around anymore? Because it... Because the fact that I can put it back in means I either got to do something with it or it's just for show. And usually you have to do something with it. I'm shocked I can't zoom in at all. Stop that. Oh, it's rotating. Am I supposed to like... Uh... Oh, because there's a music player, I'm supposed to actually... How, how does that even work? Print music on it? <laughs> on a wax cylinder? That can't be right. Or that can't be how it works, rather. But I'm sure that's what you have to do. How about this? Can't see a way to operate it. It's simple. You just put in the metal thing. Or the, the wax thing. But really? There's no way to power this? Clearly, I guess I need a battery. Also doesn't seem to be working. Uh, so two things I'm looking for. Ways to either like get music on it. Or uh, something that involves the book. Stand was made for a book. Well, how about that? Nice. We don't even need to read the book. It's just an elevator. Uh, up we go. Oh, geez, big area here. All right, well, I guess this is our next um, null element quest. Uh, let's start with the letter. Can't believe it took, uh, there was so much even before getting to the area. I knew you would not disappoint me. You have proven yourself a worthy apprentice, and now you stand on the threshold of mankind's greatest day. I have not brought you here simply to bear mute witness to my achievements. You have a role to play, one more pivotal than you will ever know. Know that the breakthrough we now make together, I could never have made without your vital contribution. Cool. Cool. I will take the screwdriver. Is a battery supposed to go in here? Of some sorts? Maybe? Possibly? Oh, and this is what launches us into the actual area. Alright, where's the start then? This way. All right, well, here we are again, finally. Pluses and minuses. It doesn't tell me which is which. 
Is it going to give any feedback at all? All right, well, that's lit up, so clearly something's working. That's not working. That's not working. That's working. That's working. Thank you for your indicator. I don't recognize this part of the of the city. Or the island rather. Or maybe I do. Wait, is that from the room two? Is that where I was at, at the end of the room two? That might be. Well, we're gonna go into something. Because I remember taking a boat to somewhere in the room too. And then it was like this very tiny island with just an observatory on it. Alright, time to uh, match the wave. What? Oh, we don't have... Wait, we... Okay. Um, do I just drag over the screwdriver? Is that just gonna magically work? I see the screw. The screw is right there. Well, we need to put something in here. Like a battery, I guess. At least that's how I imagine it. And then eventually we'll just be able to screw it in. So I guess we need to do some looking about. Well, we haven't done this yet. Talisman Safe and Lock Company. Safe looks like it's been here for decades. That's an effective safe. How about this thing? There's a track running along this banister. It's simple. You put in the screwdriver. Now, it seems like there's more to this room uh, than what I was led on to believe. Special. Well, maybe not a special this area, but I mean... I was looking for like a battery or something. Maybe I'm supposed to go back. Like maybe I can't even do this area yet. That's what I'm thinking about right now, right? Like I'm thinking about, well, I can't even do this area because I can't power the machine yet. So I have to do some more stuff. Maybe involving the wax cylinder. Um, a screwdriver too. And then we'll come back to this. Let me just make sure. I want to be extra sure that I can't do anything else here. Because I'm also pretty sure I've uh, fully exhausted this room of options. So yeah, let me triple check. Yeah, none of these really do anything. I can't, yeah, I can't do that. Yep, alright, sweet. I think there's something else. I'm sure there's probably something else we can do in another room. We still have objects we can work work with. Oh, I should have read the hint, maybe. Eh. I can always still do that down here. And even if the hint means, oh yeah, you still gotta do something up here, doesn't mean I can't do this stuff. Um, so I gotta find an area where I can put in sheet music or create sheet music. I don't have a token. What does a token look like? Just so I know. Wait. Oh, this was something I could take. Mechanism. To create a key. Trying to think of key holes in the overworld. Mmm, trying to think of something. Yeah, I also can't see a way to operate this. It seems to me that this is where the wax thing would go. But I can't power it, so it doesn't really matter. At least not right now. <sighs> Alright, let's see what's up here. Oh god. 
Uh, the oscilloscope up in the tower seems to be... Hey, 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 hey. Seems to be missing an internal component. Where can I find another oscilloscope component? component? You expect me to know what that is? Uh-oh. Also, up in the tower? Meaning up here? Or God knows what they're referring to. Oscilloscope is the wavy thing? Oh, so it needs an internal component. Right, so... Okay, so what I could do then is just get it from this. No, I need one that is based off of two dials. So there's plenty of these. I just need to find the right one with two dials. And then maybe I'll screw it open. Um, so there's in a bunch of rooms. There's a bunch of rooms. That, you know, I don't know which one it is, but I'm sure we'll have to find it. That's called an oscilloscope. Noted. Could be the one in here. Yeah, yeah, it does look like the one in here. All right, I was right. We did need to retrieve something else. I am glad I backed out then. Whoops. Why did I think it was just going to work? I have a good night, Peak. Good night, good night, good night. Hoping this will go well. Soon we're about to go into what is, I think, the the area with the fifth null element. So that'll be exciting. At least I expect it'll uh, work. I also have this key. I don't know what that does yet. But maybe there was... Wait, there's a safe behind me. It's not the key for the safe, is it? No, well, this is jammed, actually. And it, I don't even see a keyhole. You need more, you need like a passcode and like a crowbar. I just want to see if I can do anything with this key. No. All right, let's, uh, let's go into the area. Let's do it. All right, it's on. I think it's a little tall. That looks pretty good. What? Don't bag me out. No, stop that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's do this. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I am nervous as to how big this room could be. They only seem to be getting bigger and bigger, so. Sheesh. Well, forward we go. Turn this. It is time to nuke the sky. Or observe it. Or whatever you wish. So I guess there's a couple... Can I not interact with those? No, there are a couple different... Uh, codes we need. We could maybe just look right now. Oh, never mind. A broken lens. So we need to find a new lens. Hey, like my lens. Uh, probably different... Uh, purposes. Alright, uh, what's the hell what the hell is the deal with this area? Oh jeez. Alright, so it looks like I maybe want to rotate as much as possible. So that oh jeez. Maybe so the uh, circles are free? Or maybe I want to you get over the other circles. So now we have two of them? 
What else can rotate? These? That is not what I want to be doing. All right. They were connected. An etched glass disc. So, a lens? Draw. Well, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. No, this isn't gonna work, I assume, but I have to try anyways. On the very off chance. No, I'm looking for more like an official looking lens. Something bulkier, heavier, all that jazz. Kind of interact with this thing. A little compass on a map. Kind of interact with these glowing white pieces. No. Wait, what if I put the thing on here? I don't even know what the hell I'm holding. It's just a glass disc. Like, what am I... I guess I'm not supposed to know what I'm looking at right now. Also not supposed to know what I'm looking at right here. It's like a... Chart of constellations. Let's see what else is going on around here. Maybe this thing. This looks like a place for a glass disc to go. No? Okay. Maybe it opens up. Ah... Oh, it looks like a disc is missing. I'm not swapping it. I'm adding to it. Um, yeah, I still don't really know what I'm looking at. That might help. All right, so this was on the map. Maybe we want to light up as much of the map as possible. No, we want to actually do this. So draw was on the bottom. Yeah, both of these move. <laughs> Alright, I should probably look at the map itself to try to replicate as much as possible. It seems like only these two move. So let me go back to the reference. See what I'm actually trying to do. Oh, that's actually not that helpful. For some reason, I expected there to be, like, words and stuff on here. Was there... Why do... Okay, clearly all we have, or all we need is right here. Just gotta find the right orientation. Like, let's see, can I... Yeah, I can get a top-down view. Like, I thought this would overlap with that, but apparently not. Dragon. What? Really? Really? I mean, it definitely spells dragon. You would think, like, you put the draw over the draw and then you spell dragon, but no? Draco the dragon? Draco? A crystal star? Well, we know where that goes. Is that what we're finding? Some dragon. Oh, I'm just going to tap all these, see what happens. Um. Well, I've made a constellation, I think. Hold on. Um, give me a second. What I want to see is back on here. Were there any of those triangles as well? Well, there are. Mm, but it's making the same constellation. I was thinking like, oh, wait, no, it do I do only have to tap some of them. So this one, that one, and then the final two. Yeah, I can do that. So, turn these off. And everything but the final two. Right? Did I get that right? I thought I did. Unless if I was one off. 
Let me double check. Maybe I was looking at it from a weird angle. No, it's the top left. Oh, wait, no, it's not the last two. There was actually one before it. Yeah, I did uh, read that wrong. All right, what's the deal with this? We found a scrap of parchment. And then here's some symbols in a disc not unlike what is next to the telescope. And hey, look at that. It's the lens itself. Well, let's see what's in this. Um, all right, put that on, doesn't do anything. We can zoom in and then rotate about it. I'm wondering if I want to actually make anything or if we're just looking right now. I'm not sure which. I feel like I'm just looking because this doesn't really do anything. Also, I want to make Draco. This isn't helpful. Let me look at this. A scrap of parchment. It's burnt. I should probably go to like the table over there. Let me just make sure there's nothing I can do with this. No. Absolutely not. And I don't have symbols for that currently. That could always change. What the hell is this? Does a parchment go on here? Holy crap. Alright, well this looks like it's going to definitely give me the code for the telescope. Without a doubt. I don't think this is helpful anymore. Unless. Just checking. Might take the hint. I, there's also a room behind me that I kind of wanted to check out. With some more parchment. How about this? Now you shall see what this whole adventure has been in pursuit of. Have you ever experienced a moment so tantalizing? This is our prize, yours and mine. The, your resistance to the null is remarkable. None but me could craft this key and none but you could turn it. I am sure of that now. Everything is in readiness. The last few calculations will pose you a little difficulty. And once you open the gateway, I will join you. Let us stride through it together and become the greatest explorers in a dozen gener de generations. Neat. Can I just open this? Yeah, I can pull it, but it's not on. And it's turned on by something through here, which I obviously can't work with. Alright, so there's nothing of value out here just yet. I probably... Okay, I gotta use this wire first. There's something over here that I can't actually interact with. No, so I gotta solve the telescope thing first. Parchment. Maybe I'm too hung up on this, but... I mean, I don't know why it wouldn't help me at some point. How about this thing? So, this is kind of a... What's the word? A legend, I guess? So, maybe this can help? So, there's a star. There's a m crescent moon. And then three, three, sh three different shapes. This is the Chinese zodiac. Oh, nice. Maybe looking for these animals to ha kind of help me make a set of symbols like here these symbols no why did i go here mm. i mean I, ideally i want these eventually but i actually i have nothing right now so I, i'm not gonna mess with those i don't want to accidentally get it and then feel bad about myself no But it doesn't seem like there's much else to do. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, I also wonder if it fits over something, but I didn't see anything with these holes. 
Like, there's, I mean, even, like, a little bit of a hint, right? There's star and a crescent. Didn't see any stars or crescents that I could put this on. Otherwise, I would have done it, but... Saw nothing. Maybe it'll tell me where it is? That'd be nice, I guess. Yeah, I don't see any star or crescent. Maybe it'd be like on here? This thing? Like there's a star- no, there's no star on here. There's a plinth on the table, covered in symbols. Hey, hey, hey. The parchment I found might fit between those handles on either side of it. Yeah, I was looking at this. I <sighs> dragged it here. I guess it was just not doing me good. All right, uh, whatever. We're fine, I guess. That is really odd, though. So, let's see. What am I exactly looking for? Um, probably a moon and a star? No. And then I don't know what the square and such means. What the fuck? Is there just something I haven't seen yet? Because it seems like there's however many options. I, it's, it's not that many options to do. Like, I'm just looking for the lines to perfectly line up. And I guess they don't do that here. Does this look lined up? You can make an argument for that. So that is this and that, probably. So this is the one for the star, and this is the one for the moon. I don't know what the hell is the deal with these symbols, then. Because I'm like, right, I want the lines to line up. What is the deal? Oh, the lines gotta connect. Circle to circle. Wires. Okay. Um, let's see. So we just gotta find a thing where the wires actually connect. That looks pretty good. I don't know how to remember this symbol. Um, this is just two C's. I don't know what this is. How do I remember this? I guess it's a... I don't know, fucking... It's just the one that's next to the star. Completely unrecognizable symbol. Let's do that one first so I don't forget. There he is. Mm. And there we go. Oh, nice. All right, now we definitely have a goal in mind. Oh, God. A metal plate. Well, I can definitely look into it, but where this metal plate goes... I can't actually look at it and then put it on the eyeglass. I have to set it down first. Um, why not over here? Maybe the metal plate goes where the parchment started? Yeah, it looks like the same size. Surprised that doesn't go in, actually. Metal plate, 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 plate. What am I looking for? Oh, the symbols. Not the weight. There's a star and bullseye. And then there's a crescent and a triangle. So star, bullseye, crescent, triangle. Star, bullseye, crescent, triangle. So the star will have a bullseye. 
Come on. And the crescent has a triangle. Beautiful. All right, what's in here? That's not it. Okay. Really? Yeah, I mean, I guess zooming does change things. Like distance apart and perspective. Force perspective. There we have it. I knew we were close. A large iron handle. Probably for one of the big doors. Just trying to remember if there was like anything else to be done. No, we're going back here, I guess. Large iron handle. Probably for you. Ooh. Oh my god. A whole ass moon dial. I would say it's a sundial, but you know. I mean, I guess a sundial is still a sundial at night. But it's not active. Anyways, what can I actually interact with up here, huh? I thought I could, like, grab something. How about over here? Observatory. Doesn't do anything. From 1788. Um, maybe I'm just meant to observe. <laughs> points at three. This thing points at three. So, oh, I can actually zoom in on this. Thank you. Large gear. A small gear. And what's in this? Maybe a belt. Uh, let's get a better angle of this. Nope. Oh, that's right. This moves. Um, Hold on then. So I want this, basically. And then here... Is that good? Alright, so I saw this gear here. Let's definitely check out whatever the puzzle this is. Um, oh, this actually is hard to look at. Like, physically. Hmm. This small doorway has an intricate pattern engraved into it. Hopefully, I wasn't, like, you know, needing a code anywhere. Because I just kind of spun stuff and it happened. Like, there's nothing about this that stands out compared to the other options. I just wanted to see what was it, uh, what the options were. So intricate pattern engraved into it. Must remember it or something. Still can't do this. Gears. No, this is just where I retrieved them from. It's a doorway. Maybe I should study the pattern. Or not, I mean. Can I... Okay, I can interact with this. It's like simple. We attach the gear. No, we need like something large here. Maybe help spin this or set it up. Anything else I can interact with on this? No. All right. Well, I should check out the gears. <sighs> or check out ideas of where I could put the gears. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm just coming back to here for a brief moment. Yeah, because I wouldn't want to miss anything, right? It'll open, but you need some sort of tool. Alright, some sort of star-shaped tool. That's it. Don't have the tool. Alright, let's see what the uh, gears can do. Hopefully in here, there'll be something I can work with. 
Well, oh, I can probably open this now, right? As lit up. Nice. Hmm. Alright, spot for a geek. Well, hexagonal sir, uh, socket. I'll be back to watch a YouTube video. Lander, good luck. Cheers. Have a good night. Alright, so I have a square and a circle, neither a hexagonal. What's this deal? What the hell am I looking at? <laughs> I guess I've said this before a lot, but truly, what on earth am I looking at? How about this thing? What are you? A model sundial. So probably, well, I mean, that goes outside for sure. I don't want to ditch this room just yet, but I fear I may have to. All right, what the hell am I looking at here? Whoops. Surely there's something I can do? You know, you think like gears would go somewhere or? Uh, just, uh, you know, casually hover over? I guess not. I guess just no. Uh, you know what? I guess I do have the mini sundial. That's a little bit of a lead. Let's go out to the big boy sundial and that podium nearby. And place it there. So like on this. Ah, we can finally control it. So I think we wanted to go to three. That's what I remembered. So now it's locked in. So now that it's on three. I can probably interact with that. Whoa! Holy shit. Alright, well, it's finally time to use the gears. This is getting legit now. <laughs> There's so much decoding to be done. Good luck following along is all I've got to say. So this rotates. So I have... Do I have anything with a circular hole? I have thi or triangular sockets. I have circles. Sorry, did I say circular? I meant triangular. I have a square hole and I have a circle hole. So I can do some of the gear stuff. Um, but not all of it. It's like, is this the only thing that can rotate? I think so. What if I... Bring this back over here? And then set this up maybe... He well, I won't go here. Or will it? So like this could go on here, this can go on here. I might as well maybe just store these. I think I need to find more gears somewhere. Preferably one with a triangular socket. What about here? Whoops. And this moves, does this interact? Square thing? This could maybe go here? No. At least not right now. All right, I, I, I need one more gear. Truth be told, um, it's not on here. So I guess I'll go looking, yeah? I still want to unlock this thing, but I can't. Um, can't do anything here. Um, hold on, let me look at this once more. Like, what am I even trying to do, right? I mean, I'm supposed to attach gear so I can actually transfer this to somewhere, but right now this is nowhere helpful. Ugh. Okay, I can bring that in. I can bring this out as well. Alright, there's the triangle. That makes a little bit more sense. Triangle going here. Bring it on over. 
And then I guess we do the same with the square boy over here. A large handle. Possibly for that machine in the other room. Well, I want to get up here. So let's see if I can do that. Maybe position this here. Can I get this back? Place you here? No, that won't reach. Can I rotate this at all? Socket? Let me observe this handle, know what I'm working with. Oh, it's the uh, star. Okay, glad I took a look at it. That's nice. Whew. Good deal. An intricate orb. Don't do me like this. There's moving objects on the orb. Very cool. There's a brass handle on the inside. The orb opens up for an orb with the socket. Oh my god. Oh, hey, it's the other half of that gem out there. Well, at least it looks enough like it. I don't know what this brass handle is supposed to do. Jesus. Okay. Full of surprises. All right, looks like I'm done here, though. Let's, um... I don't know. I, I want to rotate this thing up here. I want to move that up there. So let me look at this before I move on. Brass handle. Like that. So now this rotates, which means I can set myself up so that I can put the square here. And the circle here. And triangle here. And rotate it. And the planetarium! Room 1 vibes coming back right at us. Oh, there it is. All we need to do is open the bars. Can I... I can zoom in on these. Some sort of socket. Okay. So that's where this goes. Definitely misunderstood what that was. It's got a button. Oh, boy. <laughs> Alright, the... Shit. Male symbol, I think. Spitballing. We got one of three. I got some buttons. Maybe more buttons to press. We can zoom in on this. Hey, it's another button. You don't click. Not yet, you don't. There we go. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Alright, one more button. Could be anywhere. Probably on this big planet. Oh, it's Earth. We must create Earth. That is Africa. That is Africa. Oh, there's another one down here. Didn't even see that. What? Can I not? Oh, that's the static one. Son of a bitch. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Earth. It is spinning, though. What is the deal with this moon here? Alright, looks like we're supposed to line up circles. Finally. Oh, get the metal casting that we saw so long ago. Alright, awesome. It's been assembled. Whatever it does. I don't recognize that pattern, but hopefully we'll be able to do something eventually. A lens cover for our telescope. We'll probably need to memorize that pattern, but let's first use this. Can't forget that piece. 
Oh, so we were supposed to find the piece and then solve the pattern. <laughs> Definitely did that in the opposite order. Yeah, I just stumbled on it. Like, I wasn't even trying to brute force it. It just happened. So, um, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. What? Okay, there we go. A stone carving. I think this would be fun in a bigger stream. Hey, you guys know you're gambling. Fucking degenerates. Scum. <laughs> Hope you're having fun. Oh, wait. So, I kind of expected to be able to interact with this since that big dramatic fall happened. Is that just it? I just get the stone carving and it, it, it is what it is? Unless if, like, this is meant to be open. Like, this looks like something that could be opened, but I wouldn't count on it. Like, I thought for some reason I could maybe interact with the rings. Nah, I'll come back to it. Wait, it's a lens cover. It wouldn't be for my own lens, would it? No, it's probably for the, uh, telescope. Well, it could be for the telescope. It could be for anything. Well, whatever. Let's let's just go under the assumption that this is for the telescope. So let's head there. God knows if it's right, but... I also haven't messed with that machine yet. I do have a stone carving, so that maybe could be helpful. At some point. Jeez. What... On Earth. Alright, so hey, here's that symbol. But that's the third symbol. Let's see if I remember what the first symbol was. I don't remember. But the thing is, actually, the other ones aren't showing up. This was the only one. Yeah, I know for a fact this was the only symbol. So now I what? Rotate? I feel like I don't know what I'm looking for. Unless if there's something else I can twist and turn. Maybe like... I don't know, but it was definitely this symbol that was on the telescope. And right now, this is just kind of zooming in and out. Do we... Oh, maybe based off of this? Yeah, yeah, we have to use these. Now, I don't remember. We have to go back there to find the code. Uh, but I bet we manipulate those with the other two, yeah? Water chug. What's the best puzzle game ever? Baba is you, without a doubt. Oh, yeah, yeah, and it even shows. All right, awesome. The star is the S, and the moon is the just dotted lines, kind of. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Star, S, moon, dotted lines. Not where I wanted to go. Now, I do remember which S. Do I really have to rotate this way? I do! <laughs> Alright, is this one. And then the moon is the dotted lines. Alright, that should be it. Let's go. All right, that floor is changed. This is opening. What the dick? All right, well, here we are. The floor has something now. Symbols and such. I still have this stone carving, which maybe will be of use eventually. Hexagon, indentation. Oh, hey, this fell. But this is partially open, so I can't really open this. 
It seems like I can maybe work this machine now. Oh, I'm drawing a line. I'm drawing a line, but I don't know what line to draw yet. Um, this doesn't actually help me with the line. What about over here? Oh, hey, look at that. What? There we go. All right, it's time to play a game. I don't know what this game is, but it looks like we're sliding things. Only issue? I don't know what my end goal is. Oh, I want to match the room. That's my end goal. That was quick. Um, Alright, uh, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to get you through. Kind of like this. Get you in the bottom corner here. And then next is the white target. I'll just try to get that. Let me just move this out of the way, I think. No, I don't want to move it out of the way like that. That's not right. I gotta move it out of the way like this. Next! Some of these things. Don't ask me if I want a hint. I'm doing fine. Yeah, actually, we've pretty much got it. What a grating sound those make. Not a fan. Oh boy. All right, so this will probably tell me what kind of line I have to draw, yeah? Oh jeez. That is a huge globe. Um <laughs> I should maybe take the time to figure out where what exactly I'm looking for, huh? Probably should we go to the map? I probably should go to the map. I'm stubborn though. Hey, it's Hades. Alright, I've just managed to drag the game. How the fuck did I manage to drag the game off my screen? You guys can't see this. It, it looks like just nothing's happening. The entire game managed to get dragged off my screen. What the fuck? Yeah, just let me just quit out. What the what the hell was that? I literally like my mouse was locked in the region. I alt tabbed and I couldn't bring it back. Like it dragged down. How on earth did it go down? There's there should be a boundary or something. All right, well I got it back. That was really weird. I escaped the room. <laughs> I had to alt tab so I could quit out. But the entire like box, because I have it windowed, so I have chat next to me, just got dragged like below the vision of my monitor. All right. Well, hopefully I didn't lose any progress. Um. Yeah, yeah, actually, in fact, I made a little bit of a uh, movement progress. Yeah, so that door was open, so I wanted to use the map to try to figure out... Mm, okay, map's actually kind of useless. I can use Windows Tab right arrow to move it. Doesn't that rotate my monitor? Does that turn out? Does that turn everything on its side, or am I misremembering? The room escaped me. Oh, well, either way, uh, we're back. It is what it is. We've done this already. Um, honestly, I was trying to figure out where the thing should go, and I was hoping this map would help me, but it hasn't. And hold on, are we, we're unable to use this anymore. It's done for. What a shame. There's gotta be a map somewhere. Or like... I mean, there's a map over here. This thing. Like, we can zoom into this. Is this just where we are? 
Maybe it's a mapping of the whole area. Well, anyways, the whole point of this was to... I'm not sure. Does this help me at all? Like, eventually I have to draw a line. And I, I know that this will show me what line I need to draw. Um, am I looking for a red gem, maybe? Like, line up the gem? Probably not, though, because I don't think that's what the puzzle is. Maybe I need to do some reading. Like, look for cities. Wait, actually, wasn't that what the telescope was about? Did I look at... S Oh. Okay. That's one way to do it. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Well, I found the line to draw. Is it is it supposed to do that or is that only if I'm slow? Hold on. Let me memorize this. Okay. Alright, we, we saved it. And we turned on one of them. So we probably need to find two more. Using a fun game called Hot and Cold. Oh boy. Imagine if the witness were like this. Oh, dude, my freaking ears. Oh. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. I think I remember that. I don't remember that. One more look. No, it doesn't connect. That's right. I, I, I was like thinking it did for some reason. All right. Let's actually be careful that we actually draw these. Two out of three. Well, hopefully uh, nobody was trying to go to sleep because <laughs> you're not going to do it with that noise playing. There is a hint in the room for these. Interesting. I must have missed it. Okay. Anything, please just make it stop. I'll solve your puzzles. I swear I'll do anything. What? What on earth? Move forward. Okay. These are controls. <laughs> I'm going through a maze. Awesome. Alright, well, hang to the right. That's how you solve mazes. Hey, it's the exit. M. Okay, it's not the exit. It's an M. What am I supposed to do with M? Like, what, what, what was the... Oh, is it this? Maybe. There's the M. Central chamber. What's my goal? Like, I see the central chamber. The only way in. A maze within a maze. And then there's... Blocked path. Like, am I supposed to get out? Well, there's M here, and then... No, this is where M was. Nice and then game. M was here. Keep on keeping on. Cheers. Thanks for the resub. Maybe I'll get to here instead. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to connect the M's or, like, make it to the blocked path. I guess we'll find out, but... There's the M, so let's continue. Whoops. Move.
Alright, we're in. Sure, so we just wanted to get in here. Oh, we probably found one of the things. I assume we want to connect all three beams. So we got to make it to the next. Alright, so let's use this for the next. Going from M, we want to find whatever this is. And that's way over here. Alright, honestly, I'm sure if I navigate enough, I could probably make it. Oh, but it's going to be pretty tedious. Chat, keep me company while I navigate this maze. Oh boy. That is going to take a hot minute. Are you guys still gambling? Don't lose myself now. I'll be alright. Wait, that's not it. Incredible. I actually wish I could join the gambling. It seems kind of funny. Uh, but mods and streamer is not allowed to participate. If I was to gamble... I would have to either make a new account or start a brand new channel in which I could be, uh, I could gamble in. Alright, we found a hexagon. The ohm. All right, two out of three. Let's go. And then the final one. Should not be too bad. Just gotta take a long way. I want to, You wanted to see me solve this maze? Well, I mean, it doesn't seem too bad. You just look at the map and realize that there's not that many dead ends. So eventually you'll just kind of make it. The puzzle seems to be, honestly, in my opinion, the tedium, but... Uh, maybe I misremember the map. So there's the blocked off thing. So then down this hallway. We got pretty close to the last thing. I believe. Like I remember it being very far north. Not Going there. The wrong way around, I see. Am I really? Well, I couldn't go through the middle. It wouldn't let me. I tried. The whole point of this maze is to creep you out. Compared to the rest of the game, it doesn't seem that creepy. Like, honestly, the opening scene, I think, might have been the most creepy part of the game. Where the dude just showed up. You can't beat that. Orb. Oh, this goes on the planetarium. I didn't even realize there was a missing planet. How do you do that? Just take an entire planet away? Wait a second. What? What's the green stuff? Why is there green gas? Is it just supposed to make it easier to see? Or maybe to get my attention? Maybe to get my attention. Oh, that was to show my position in the maze. Oh, very cool. So people were saying there was other hints of where to look at the world map. I should have uh, asked if you guys saw that. When I was still in the room. Anyways, planet here. A, a long planet that we can go inside. All right, now we're moving again. Higher density of puzzles is about to begin. So this will rotate. Um, let's see. What is my end goal exactly? So eventually, I probably want to pull this lever all the way down. So I want to set this up so that... I can... Grab this. And then rotate the whole thing. So I can get this almost all the way down. But not all the way, all the way down. Let's bring this up out of the way. Let's, um... Bring this down. And then bring... Uh, let me just... Bring this over. Ah, 
Awkward. Uh, line that up, I think. Oh, I see. Oh, come on. It doesn't like moving. <laughs> Why are you like this? All right, grab. Rotate. Thank you. Is it lined up yet? Is that as far as it goes? Is there another th two for thing? Well, that's odd. I kind of expected uh, the thing on the back to be able to make it. Yeah, I, I kind of expected that to be able to make it over. Odd. Can this... This can't rotate, can it? Let me move this entire thing. No, it doesn't go that far, huh? What if I move it in? Rotate like that. Move it out. Then rotate it like this again. That's one way to do it, sure. All right. It's button time. So this should be the entirety of the planetarium thing. Oh, wait. Already? I guess I actually we've been in this area for a hot minute. But ladies and gentlemen, it is a uh, null element time. Oh, God. That should be it. That's the chapter. The stars themselves conspired to block your path through the observatory, but your perseverance is admirable. Does each step move you closer to freedom or deeper within this tangled maze? Uh, so I assume this is a final chapter coming up. We've assembled all parts of the null element, and now we just got to put it on the table, see what happens. But I still have a lot of, like, things to do. I still have the small mechanism, which is not a key, by the way. What is this thing? Is that just there? I have the thing that needs sheet music on it and this tool which may or not may not be helpful anymore. But all I really have right now is the ability I guess to go down. But it spawned me here maybe for a reason? Nah, probably not. I think it just spawned me here because it could. But it's weird I can zoom in on this, and but I can't interact with it. Maybe something on the other side that matches this? Oh, I need to find another thing that looks like this, is the idea. On the other side. Because that's what it's missing. Don't have it. Is this chapter 2 or 3? Uh, you might be disappointed here, it's like 5 or 6. I've lost track. Lost track. Alright, well, you know what? Let's do the null element thing. Here we go. How have I not even been live for two hours? It felt it's felt like I've done so much in this game. That's crazy. Like I would have thought I was at least live for like three hours. I mean, I guess I was live for five earlier today, so between everything, it's quite a lot. Alright, well, here we go. What is the deal with pyramids? It's time. The Craftsman's Key. Ah, for the Craftsman's Door. Wait, I can just choose to not go in? <laughs> you mean this door opens for me and it's like, well, you don't have to. Let me chug water while I think.
To be honest, though, I feel like I don't really have a choice. The game compels me. I must go in. Plus, I got the craftsman's key. What could go wrong? Oh my god. The top of the castle. Oh boy. What is this? Alright, so that is locked right now. I would like to get in there. Uh, this is where the key goes. To unlock a big puzzle box. Let's do this. Alright, alright. Lots of lasers, lots of mirrors. Crazy puzzle coming up. Why do I still have the screwdriver? Alright, let's see. How do I move this thing? <laughs> this is, this is going to be a massive amount of work. Metal ring. Does this, can I work with this now? Looks like no. What about up here? Oh, I can't interact with that. How about in the middle? How about other things along the side? What about with the eyepiece on? So far, actually, less I, uh, that I can interact with than what I thought. You're telling me none of these actually do anything? I mean, I guess there's other stuff in this room. But you would think at least, like, one of these, um, in addition to what I grab, would actually activate something. Alright, let's check out this thing, then why not? So a ring probably goes here. Inside the tower we go. Nice. Um, alright, what's my goal, huh? Alright, looks like I want to be able to get the pistons into their holes. Like such. Nice. Alright, our first beam. Oh, jeez. Crazy mirror maze inbound. Well, this looks fun. These, these move yet? A little bit. We turn on a gear. Connected that. Turn that on. Slideshow. Nice. What a wonderful presentation. Hey, look. This is unlocked. Another mirror. A square mirror. And this can rotate if it wants to. I don't know what that backing is supposed to be, but it's a square mirror. Maybe I'm supposed to go to a layer inwards, a K right here. And do I rotate this or angle it? But maybe I want to hit it so it angles up. What can, how can, how, what can I interact with? Maybe here? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Not the inside of the null element. Okay, it doesn't look too bad actually. I was kind of mentally pre uh, being pre prepared to jump, get jump scared. Anyways, it kind of looks like I want to... Nope. Not that. I want to hit the beam with as much stuff as possible. So these are right. I see how it works. So those are locked in. So these should be rotating. Well, in and out real quick. No big deal. Another doorway. 
Oh, what? What in the fuck? Are we on a train? Oh, just like the beginning. Wait. Oh, it's full circle now. Congratulations, you have found the center of my labyrinth. That may feel like a victory, but it leaves you farther from freedom than you have ever been. It is, if it is of any cons uh, consolation, you are not the first, and you will be far from the last. Know that every single turn led you to this point. As you like puzzles so much, I have one final riddle for you to occupy your eternity. What is the difference between a maze and a labyrinth? Well, a maze has an exit. Uh, but how can I expect the answer when you cannot tell a room from a prison? <laughs> oh my god! This is some dark shit. Wow. Okay, congratulations, you complete the room three for the first time and witness the aftermath of your actions. However, there are alternate endings for you to discover. You can now use the change your fate button on the main menu to revisit Grey Home. Only by using the mysterious artifacts hidden by the craftsman will you earn the power to alter your destiny. There's more! Well, it seems like a good spot to end the stream at. Next time I play this game, I guess I'll have to change my fate. Ooh. <laughs> well, that'll be fun. That will be fun. Hope you guys are excited for down the line when I decide to do this. I gotta go to sleep. So, I don't know how much more there is to this game. So, I don't want to just rush it right now. I think it could be another fun stream. Thank you all for coming out. To more of the room three. We're gonna check out three more of the endings. I think it'll be very fun. Um, also, I got some other stuff planned for this weekend. Possibly a collab. No guarantees. I'll see you guys all in the next time I stream, most likely tomorrow. Have a wonderful night, chat. Be sure to check out the video um, for the early portion of this game. Because, you know, I know how you're dying to wonder, you know, you're dying to know how this game began. Anyways, see you guys.